cute. At first, Shavian had planned to show off his culinary skills. However, after tonight, his confidence plunged by a million fold. But how could Shavian have to have the face to ask him to cook? <laughs> Who did he take an esteemed Supreme Ghost King for? He doesn't care about that. <laughs> that pot of love for all seasoned stew. I'm heating it up. Hearing this, Hua Chong applauded softly. What a good name. <laughs> it's cute. Long Ying silently collected the cutlery as if going to do the dishes. Shailian tried it. Let it be. Just go play. I can take care of this. My parents is that. He cried hastily. Wait. <laughs> However, it was too late. Poochie Shrine was only so big and had no places to hide. Immediately, the two saw that behind Shailene's person, there stood a supreme ghost king who was in the middle of doing dishes. <laughs> it's so cute. Four pairs of eyes met. Sparks flew. Hua Chong smiled a smile that showed his teeth. The smile was ominous and his eyes had no trace of mirth. Oh. In an instant, Ming Yi's pupils shrank and she backed three feet away. Shi Jing Xuan flung out her Wingmaster fan, striking an attacking stance, exceedingly alarmed. Come on, come on, you're his wee woman. Come on. Crimson rain seeking flower. Calm down. With the next words that came out of Hua Chong's mouth were even colder, his expression icy. Leave, he warned. I don't care what important business you have. Do not come anywhere near here again. Jeez. <laughs> They're friends. <laughs> you have to get along. <laughs> Next to them, Xie Yan was growing nervous. What, what, what? Lord Master, what, what, what should we do? <laughs> Didn't you guys just meet recently? How come you're together again so fast? Come on, you get it. <laughs> Shi Qing Xuan was vibrating with excitement. Really? I've never even eaten anything made by the hands of, of heavenly officials. Come, come, come. Let's have a taste. To be honest, Xi Yan had wanted to stop him at first. However, Hua Chong had been so firmly encouraging. <laughs> he smiled at Xi Yan. It's definitely lighter today. The flavor's just right. Xi Yan smiled. Really? I added more water today. Hua Chong took another bite and smiled happily. Guga did his best. <laughs> I don't know if I want someone to say that. Thud. Ming Yi collapsed onto the altar table face down. As if she lost consciousness. Next to her, two lines of tears <laughs> silently streamed down Shi Qing Xuan's face. Just then, Ming Yi sat bolt upright. Evil has overtaken my heart. Please exercise it for me. What? Where's Ming Shong? Quick, I'll shield you. Let's take it down together. What? Hua Chong raised his brow. I think it's fine. It's probably a problem with their taste buds. It happens. Of course, he also didn't think about whether anything had been added after the pot had passed through Wat Chong's hands. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what's going on? Shi Ching Swan said, have you ever met a venerable of empty words? That sounds cool. There seemed to be someone next to his ear giggling coldly and humming an exceedingly creepy tune. Shi Ching Swan wiped away his tears and said, oh, that's all me. It's just a little spell. Don't mind it. It's just for creating the moon. <laughs> oh, shit takes fun. Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe if you liked the video. And I'll see you in the next video, beautiful nerds.